Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time on the... Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time on the old chopping block, or examination block I should say, under the scrutinous eye of myself, is Gauntlet Legends. Uh, on the PlayStation 1, actually. Now, I've played a little bit of this back when I was a kid. I actually had this on the Dreamcast, and it, <clears throat> it was interesting. I mean, Gauntlet is an old game series. It was an old arcade game. One of the first, if not the first, don't quote me on that, um, four-player arcade games. It is a dungeon crawler. Um, and you control one of four heroes, and you fight hordes and hordes and hordes of enemies, and it is actually meant to be played multiplayer, but, um, I'm the only one here, so bollocks. Now, I didn't know that this came out on the, the, uh, PlayStation, so this is going to be interesting. So what does it say on the back? Out of conflict, legends are born. Now, actually, there is a Gauntlet Legends on the PlayStation 4 um, and Xbox One as well, I assume. I have played it. It's... <sighs> yeah. Diablo 3 uber basic version. Um... Pitch yourself and a friend against evil hordes. Use powerful sorcery, exotic power-ups, and items of legend. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, unlock four hidden characters in addition to the four classic ones. Interesting. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I'm overly um, familiar with Gauntlet as a series, because I'm really not. Um, I played a little bit of it back in the day. Actually, I think I had it on the original Xbox. Uh, on a Midway Arcade Classic disc, and eh, I thought it was crap, but it was one of those games that you probably had to play back in the day to appreciate it. But from what I can remember, on the Dreamcast, I i don't know, I've just got a feeling that we actually played quite a bit of it. Um, hard as hell. Really hard. Uh, over 20 challenging in-game quests. Hmm, interesting. Now, this is the Classics Edition. I usually don't like having Classics Editions or Platinum Editions or anything like that. But with Midway Classics, you actually get the proper disc. You don't get the cheapy Platinum version and uh, the manual there as well, which is actually quite nice. So, yeah. Bit of a white, that. Bit of a white. Not a huge amount in the uh, manual, to be honest. Um, it is all black and white, unfortunately. Whether the um, original version was black and white, I don't know. It does tell you the characters here. Um, Selects your character, warrior. Healthy and with great strength, the warrior is a good choice for the first-time player. He is durable. And quite skilled at the art of hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat. Well, one would hope, being a warrior. Valkyrie. Beautiful, but deadly. The Valkyrie's best attributes is her durability. Having both high armor rating and good speed, the Valkyrie is another good choice for the novice player. A wizard. The wizard's powerful magic far exceeds any other characters. His high magic rating grows faster and causes his magical attacks to do more damage. Archer. While the archer's physical attacks are weak like the wizard's, she compensates with the fastest movements and firing speed of all. Hmm. Okay. And there's a lot of information here. Using potions. Barrels. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go into it. I don't know how long we're going to play this for because... Um, yeah, Gauntlet is notoriously hard. I'm going to keep the manual close by, just in case. Let's pop the disc in and see what happens. Hopefully, you know, the game will load. But you never know these days. Especially not with my PlayStation. Which I think might, possibly, maybe, need a new laser. 
quite looking forward to seeing what this looks like on the Dreamcast, to be honest. If I had to guess, I would say it probably looks like arse. Because I'm used to the Dreamcast version. But I might be surprised. The PlayStation has surprised me. Quite a lot. There we are. 1998 to 2000. Midway Games. Interesting. Ah, Midway. They were quite a good developer. In an ancient time, a greedy young mage, using the power of the wooden stones, released a great evil upon the world. This demon, Scorn, fearing the power of the wooden stones, cast them to the far reaches of the four mystical realms in hope that they will never again be assembled and used against him. No one has dared try. Hmm. Until now. Well, alrighty then, and yes, I do remember this. Wow, it's so much more pixelated uh, than the Dreamcast version, obviously. What might be fun, actually, is to get the Dreamcast version. I th might have it. Oh, it is quite a lot different. Is get the Dreamcast version and uh, have a look at that at some point. Right, let's go select. Oh, the graphics are massively paired back, as you'd imagine. Um, let, I mean, we're either going to be the warrior or the Valkyrie. Um, hmm. So it's basically like Wonder Woman, really, or well, he looks like He-Man, He-Man or She-Ra. Hmm. I don't know what... What did it say she was good at? He's just a bruiser. Let's be different. Let's go for the Valkyrie, because she's cool blue. Enter a name. Okay. Um, sure. I think we get to level up as well. I can't remember. Ty. I'm just going to put Ty in, because otherwise we'll be here for like 7,000 years. I don't really want to be here for 7,000 years. There we go. End. Yeah. The tower. Now this game uses analog. Scorn has sealed my gateways with his evil magic and trapped my powers inside magical obelisks hidden in each world. Free my power from these obelisks so that I can open the other worlds to you. With my last spell, I opened the Mountain Kingdom. Scorn's forces have hollowed out the ancient volcano. Yes, blah, 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 and hidden one of the four shards there. Find a way into the volcano's core and recover the first of four shards you'll need. Your quest begins. Well, alrighty then. Oh my god. Oh my god, the graphics, man. Whoa. You know, they're not bad. Like, I'm being a little bit harsh here. Nice to have analog control. We've got no power-ups. No extra items. Okay. Talking to summoner. Continue. Rune hint, world hint, enemy hint. History. My brother, Garn, used the power of the 13 runestones to summon forth the demon lord, Scorn. Scorn was too powerful for my brother to control and broke free from his magical bonds. Scorn tossed Garn out of my tower to parts unknown. With his freedom, Scorn summoned an army of evil and used my tower to send his minions to each of the gauntlet realms. Finally, he scattered the 13 runestones of power across the known realms, hoping that they would never be gathered and used against him. Scorn has transformed the sacred cathedral behind this magical window. Window? 
into a citadel for his defense. To enter there, you must recover the four magical shards of glass that are guarded by each of Scorn's servants. All right, mate, all right, fucking hell. Don't want your life story. When the window is repaired, simply enter the circle of light and you'll be taken to the cathedral. Scorn has sealed the fuck me, yet yeah. nobody cares, mate, all right? Give it a rest. Right, rune hidden. A rune is hidden on Dagger Peak. Okay, that's fine. No, all right, mate. Jesus. We don't want to fucking listen to you all day. Right. Uh, potions inactive in tower. Okay, so... A attacks, basically, is all we got. So we can't go there yet. Now, where is... The... Ah. Ah. Fuck off. Guess we can go here. I guess we can't go there. So where's the mountain? This one? Ah, this looks like it. Um. Game? Where do I go, game? Game, stop being an arse lord. What even is that? I, oh, that's the shop. I never knew there's a shop in this game. How much money do we have? Oh, we have nothing. Oh. Well, we shall return when we have some coin. Ah, oh, look, I see. This one's highlighted. Well, alrighty then. Ooh. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, Mountain Valley. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a look at this on the Dreamcast, actually. But like I say, this game is hard as balls. It runs nice and fast, though. I mean, we're getting... This feels like... 60 frames a second. Keys to open doors and chests. I remember that. Now, of course, on the Dreamcast, you could have four players. I'm guessing... May is this multi-tap compatible? Yeah, it just says one or two players. Excuse me, dick. Enough of that. Ooh. Got a chest. Collect gold to buy power-ups. Right, you are. Collect potions to use magic. Excellent. We have no control over the camera by the look of things. Or do we? Gold, armor... No extra items, no power-ups, okay. So yeah, we have no uh, control over the camera at all, which is a bit arse. We do have a key, so we could open that door, but... Ooh! Goblins! But let's explore a little bit first. Fruit gives 50% health. Well, it just sounded like she creamed her pants when she picked that up. So... That's weird. Right, let's go open this. Aha! No. Oh, hello. I think, yeah, you can destroy. Three obelisks are hidden in the Mountain Kingdom. Activate them all to free summoner's power. Yeah, you can destroy those uh, enemy spawners there. And it looks like we actually home onto things. We've got some fireballs. Don't know what the fireballs do. Now, we only have a maximum of... Oh, okay, so... I don't know what we're doing. Ooh. We have fire breath. Avoid dangerous objects. Well, yeah. Ah. Okay, I don't know. I mean, we can select that. Ah, right. Oh, we have only have a finite amount of those. So I guess they're like powered up weapons. Oh, well, we destroyed the enemy spawner, so that's something. What else have we got here? And we got flame breath as well. I'm guessing we probably want to hold on to that. But maybe we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to use a key. That looks like puke on the floor, but I guess it's gold. Alright. I don't know how we can select to not use a power-up and just use a normal weapon. I don't know if we even can, to be honest. This game isn't as hard as I remember. Maybe it gets harder. 
Still got a key, you get. Well, I guess you can call me Goblin Bane. Bane of all the green goblins. I feel like this is like World of Warcraft or something. Although I never really liked World of Warcraft. I did try it, but it just... MMOs aren't my thing. I've tried. I've really tried to get into MMOs. But I just get bored of them. Oh, we must the level because we've now got 600 health instead of 500. Give me that. Ah, another red potion. Don't know how to use magic. Ooh. Red switches are off. Green are on. The switch arrow points towards what it affects. Ah. So what do we affect down here? Yeah, we're getting a nice 50 frames a second. Of course, we can't get 60 frames a second because... Um... This is a PAL game. Because my PlayStation is PAL. Ooh, God. Avoid dangerous objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello. Did that regen or did we just not destroy it? So apparently we opened or did something down here. Because it was pointing this way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess that's one of the obelisks we need to turn on. I gotcha. I gotcha. So nice having analog support. You know, I never used analog support in um, back in the, the PlayStation 1 days. But going back to this D-pad here, this is horrible. This analog support is nice. Why did I never use this? Stupid kid. And one second, guys. I can hear my phone. And we're back. At least I thought I could hear my phone. I guess not. Hmm. I'm liking the music as well. It's kind of like very basic, but it's good. Although when the music loops, it does a weird clip kind of thing, which is a bit weird. Definitely don't remember that on the Dreamcast version. Doesn't mean it's not there, it just means I don't remember it. We need more keys. Now, I don't know if there's like enough keys to unlock everything. What was that? Oh, that just makes us faster, I see. And there was just food in there. She enjoys those bananas way too much if you get my drift. I don't know if we have like an experience bar somewhere. I'm not sure. If we pause it. Select does nothing. Um, is that the end of the level? I guess so. Yeah, okay. Ah, there we go. Experience gold. An obelisk was found. So we can save our game. So, I guess we've saved the game. Now, I think um, health and whatnot carries over. I like the music, guys. Uh, save a character. Did we save? Oh, yeah, there we go. Saving game. Okay, so you actually save a character, which is interesting. Right, returning to game. Returning to tower. Yeah, I quite like this. It's very simple, very basic, but is that a bad thing, you know? It's not as brutally hard as the other one was. Time Stop, Phoenix, I guess, resurrects us, Fire Shield. And yeah, we can buy keys. Um, let's get a couple of keys. Get four keys. Keys are always useful. A three-way. I think that makes you fire your projectile in three ways. So you can buy health. So I guess our health isn't reimbursed at the end of each level. Acid breath, electric breath, fire breath, tea hammer, speed, 
I don't know what these amulets do. Hmm, okay, so the stuff we can buy, I don't know how useful it is. Yeah, let's keep going. And I'm not sure if it's worth just mining those enemies. Mountain Peak. Like, instead of destroying the, um... Oh, God, the staff's, like, right next to enemies. Yeah, not really sh Oh, three-way. Ah, right, I do remember that power. Oh, God. That guy's... That guy's strapped, man. We've got loads of health potions, which is quite nice. Hey, guys! Destroy the dirt man so uncover switches. Okay. What I would like is a map. Because I'm pretty sure these levels get quite complicated. I'm also... This is also feeling like really claustrophobic. The camera is really... Oh, we leveled up again. The camera's really zoomed in. Uh, I don't know if it was like this on the Dreamcast. I remember it being a little bit more pulled back than this. But again, I might be wrong. Have the food. Ah, so we've got that there. And before we go through there, let's have a little gander about. Because I do remember them saying that there's... Oh, hello. Gobbos! Kill the goblins! Heretics. Health at max. So you can't pick up food if your health's at max. That's kind of cool. Whoa, health is no longer at max. But we'll leave the apple there anyway. No point picking it up for three health. Because I guess that was some kind of buff. Not really sure what, though. I don't know if it's worth... Oh, poison food. Okay. Well, that was an ass. I like the way you just throw these swords. No fucks given sort of thing. Nice. Right, so we've got an obelisk there, which is the one we actually got... Oh, death! Ow! I don't know if death ever pisses off. I have a feeling he doesn't. Let's see if... Nope. That does nothing, so we can levitate. Alright, we've turned that on. I don't think we can get rid of death. Ah, fuck. Um, death, could you fuck off, buddy? Oh, okay, once he's had his fill, he disappears. Okay. Good to know, I guess. That key was a waste. We didn't need to use that yet. There, I don't think. So how do we get through there, then? I'm guessing there's, like... Ah, is that a dirt mound? Yeah. Well, that's sly. I got some food at least. So that's going to be something to watch out for. Those dirt mounds are not obvious. Yeah, I think the frame rate in the Dreamcast version uh, was quite bad from what I can remember. Again, I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, the gobbies are free. Come at me, fools! And they're throwing bombs at me. Don't like it. Don't like it when they're throwing bombs on my face. Oh, they can stun lock you. That's cheap. Alright, well, let's just keep pushing. And I'm guessing you can go back to old levels. Kind of looks that way. But why would you want to? Unless you can, like, harvest them for golden experience again, which would be quite cool if you could. Come on, gobbos. Man, these guys do look straight out of Warcraft. This is quite cool in a way. Come on. There we go. Oh, look. There's little ones. Little ones. Big ones. All sorts. Ooh. Who was throwing bombs at me? Was it you, you little turd? Was it... Oh, no. There's something down here. Still throwing bombs at me. We must have leveled again. Nice. Oh, it's you. Your big bomb bag, your big bell end. Well, he's dead now. You can go suck cock somewhere else. Throwing fucking bombs at me, you dick. Alright, so we need to find a switch to. Ooh. 
have a scroll. What's in the scroll? The first of many rune stones is hidden in a covered cave nearby. Uh, okay. Ooh, hell. I remember these guys. These guys look really cool in the Dreamcast. I mean, they actually kind of look the same, but they had textures. Um, dude, you hurt. Let's talk about this, my man. Let's talk about this, okay? Don't be such a knob. You keep taking those swords to the face like a champion. Wow, this guy's tough. I don't know how much he can take. Quite a lot by the look of things. I better get some XP for this guy. I'm hoping I'll get like a level for killing him. Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess we got sweet FA for killing him. That sucks. Uh, we did go a button though. So that button did something over here. Guessing. Oh, I opened that. Okay. Oh, there's the cave. I think. Didn't actually say anything. I think we picked up the runestone. Hey, pile of gold. Nice. Now, I definitely like remember more enemies on the Dreamcast. Or again, I could be talking ass. Absolutely could be talking ass. The graphics are very strange. Almost like um, this was designed for the generation before the Dreamcast, uh, PlayStation. Almost like a, a vert, not what was it called? Me not Mega CD, 32X game. But then I think it was an arcade game. I'm not 100% sure. Right, well, I think we got everything there. We activated the uh, obelisk and we found the runestone. Nice. Right, we're going to have a save. 75 kills. I mean, I guess you could just mine out enemies and grind them for XP. Not 100% sure. One thing's for sure, I'm enjoying this. Okay. I might end this video here or cut this bit off and have a little look. See if I do have the Dreamcast version of this. I'm sure I do. 